Hello, happy Wednesday. Kitty's over here laying down. Um, I got up at 7, took a shower, got dressed, went to the doctor at 8. I'm an anomaly. She doesn't understand it either. The blood pressure was great. One, 126 over 71. Um, pulse is great going down my leg. Um, no, like she says, she, I stood up and she looked at all, all around my leg to make sure there was no redness or any indications of blood clots or, uh, anything. And, um, she says, it's just weird. She said, it, it must be a nerve thing. So for the next two weeks, I have to... I'm gonna get ready once I get done talking to you guys just for a moment. I'm not gonna be here long. I'm gonna go over there and hook my knee up to the TENS unit and it and um she has some stretches and exercises she wants me to do with that leg uh, in my chair and in the bed. Um, massage it, try heat on it. She said you can try cold on it, see if one of those two helps. She says sometimes nerve stuff takes a while. So she said, if you don't see any kind of improvement in two weeks, call me and then we'll go from there. Which she said that next step would be x-rays, maybe, she said. She said, this is just baffling to her. <laughs> I said, I know. I'm never easy. So we left there, went out for breakfast, used one of our coupons. We both got an omelet and... Uh, potatoes with toast. It was like ten fifty for both of us with our coupon. Um, talked to the guy next to us for a while. Dad, him, knew a lot of the same people. So we left there. Took payroll to the shop. I wish I had a really great camera. I would have pulled out the road took some pictures. The clouds were crazy because we had a storm front come in and it was just the most unique looking clouds. I kept, I kept looking looking up at him as I was driving I'm like I wish I could just stare at him because they're just mesmerizing um, and by the time we got to the shop it was raining so dad went in and Ron ran out to me and sat in the van with me we talked a bit about stuff uh, tomorrow I'm planning on drawing a name two names and then uh, I'll try to get that in the mail next week because I got to get um, padded envelopes and I might find a little treat to put in there. Kitty, maybe Kitty can be a prize, huh? No, Kitty can't be a prize. And uh, yesterday I worked in the garage for like two hours. Uh, I was, I was so dirty and um, tomorrow we're gonna work out there again because I got to the point to where I needed dad went out to mow so I worked in the garage and I got to the point where we got this big shelf and I need him there with me to sort through stuff on what stuff he really needs to keep what he really can get rid of you know I'm gonna do the whole when's the last time you touch this what are you gonna use it for when do you plan on using it and try to get it in some sort of order. Uh, but the one whole side I've um, vacuumed and um, wiped things down and moved things around and uh, yeah. I like that kind of stuff though. When I get in the vacuum like watching all the stuff to get sucked up. Oh yeah, so satisfying. Right kitty? She's looking out the window. So let's get more storms a little bit later. And there's water dripping and a tapping out my side of my window. That kind of stuff drives me crazy. Like if my cousin comes in here and he starts doing this, I'm like, give me the pen. Give it to me right now. Or I might punch in the nose. Can't take it. Or if I hear the sink dripping in the kitchen, I gotta go put, because our sink in the kitchen has dripped for years. But I'll put a towel over the middle so it drips in the towel so you can't hear it. I just, I've always been that way though. So we have um, nail clippers 
sitting up in the change thing and if it starts to rattle and jingle I have to move things around to where it doesn't <laughs> I can't take it one of my little quirks I'm quirky so back to the knee she's like there's nothing alarming to me about what's happening she said um I mean nothing where it's something that needs to be taken care of like right this minute like go to the hospital get scans and stuff she's like we just need to see what's gonna happen and she would touch that spot and her hands were, were it was so cold in that spot and then she'd touch other spots and it was it was different I'm like it's just strange Olivia it's strange so uh yeah um but I'm glad I went Paid my $30 copay, made my appointments. Where's my card? I gotta write them out. I got my blood draw set up and my yearly, but my blood draw is until the end of August and my appointment is at the beginning of September. I kept thinking I went in July last year, but I didn't. I went at the end of August last year. And for insurance purposes, since I went on August 31st last year, I had to either go on like that day or later this year to consider it my yearly. So. I think I go on like September 5th or something to get my blood results read and do the whole check everything thing. At least that's all set up now. Gyno set up for June. Yep, all my tune-ups. Kitty's still in the window. But okay, I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna go over here, zap my knee a little bit stretch it out, do a few things like she told me to, rub on it a little bit. I gotta find the heating pad. <sighs> Just glad it's not painful. So now I'm off. <gasps> Goodbye.